So I always just start out with a moisturizer. This one has SPF 15. Just take about a pump size. And since I use my fingers a lot for every day, I always make sure that they're clean because I do not want to spread bacteria all over the place. Okay, so once that's all rubbed in, I use my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. This is a 3-in-1 foundation. It has foundation, obviously, sunscreen, and it's also um, a it also has a primer in it as well, and this SPF is 20. So I just squirt a half a pump on my finger to begin, and I dot that all over. Another half pump. And I focus the foundation on my cheeks. Um, not really under my eyes and around my forehead. And then... I go ahead and just blend it out. I don't put too much on my nose either. Um, I just put whatever excess I have. So this is one coat. I usually um, do that about two times. So in total, I use two pumps. Oh, you can still see my little enemy. So this definitely doesn't cover up um, pimples or blemishes too perfectly. I finish with two coats of the foundation. I use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Crayon. This is in the shade Light Medium or N45. So I just draw it right under my eyes. Okay, so next I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty sponge. Just gently press right under my eye, down the side of my nose. And then I'm going to use the thicker side. To blend out underneath okay so I finished my brows and now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal any blemishes that I have so here goes this little guy right here I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit, Fit Me Concealer in shade Fair Claire number 15. So I'm just going to take a bit of that and use it right under my eyes and bring it down into a small triangle and down the bridge of my nose. and two dots right under my brows. This is fun. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my beauty sponge. I'm going to use the tip of it and pat it right underneath. Making sure I stay right under, just right where I applied it.
And then for under my eyebrows, I use a Sonia Kasha concealer brush. And I just pat right underneath and then sweep it out. Okay, so now that all of my highlighting is complete, I'm going to go in with, again, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Powder, and this is in 220 Natural Beige. And I first take my e.l.f. powder brush, it's just a flat top brush. And I dip this in. I've already hit pan. I really like this foundation powder. And instead, when I focus on the under eye area, I don't sweep back and forth. I use the flat top brush so that I can do soft patting motions. And as I pat, I just twirl my brush around so it really sets everything nicely then I tap it a little bit more and I do the same padding circle motions where I get redness which is right here um, under my nose and on the side of my nose I just take whatever's left bring that up the bridge and then I use a big powder the big fluffy powder brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. Just lightly tap it in there. There's barely on the brush. There's barely any on the brush. And I first tap it on my forehead, swirl it around. Just to set the rest of my foundation. Okay, so for my cheeks, the only thing I'm going to be using for today is an NYC bronzer so during the winter when I'm like super pale I definitely can't use this but since it's summer and I got a little bit of more color on my skin um, I go ahead and I use this so I just lightly I just take the my Sonia Kasha contour brush lightly tap it in there make the lovely fishy face and I hold my brush at the very end because I want to use a really light hand and I just work it I did this cheek ready so I'm just gonna blend it a little bit more then I just go back in with my big powder brush nothing on it and I just blend everything out so I don't have any harsh lines so it doesn't look like I have mud streaks going across my face. So I just go ahead and do that so I have a little bit of definition and color on, on my cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with the fan brush. This is a, a BH Cosmetics. And just to give a little bit of highlight right here, I use an e.l.f. bronzing powder. And so I just get a really light amount, tap it in there, tap off the excess. And I go ahead and place it on my cheek and just swipe it back and forth really lightly. It doesn't give a really... Um, glowy effect unless you're in the sun and that's pretty much what I want that's what I go for so if you can't see it straight up that's fine head and finish up my eyes my lips and I'll be right back I pretty much just use this on a daily basis um, especially in the summer so my face doesn't melt off so this is just the my finished face for the day and I always go ahead and use that elf spray whether or not I'm using eyeshadow um so 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it. And go ahead and leave comments of any video requests that you have. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon.